Hey guys, it's just me, Just Sid, back for another video, of course, obviously. That'd be weird if you clicked on one of my videos and I was like, welcome to not a video. And then it just, that would be pointless. Yes, I have a new haircut. I grew out my hair just so I could shave it again. Makes a lot of sense, right? Anyway, welcome to my kitchen. We haven't recorded here in a long time, but why? Why am I recording in my kitchen? All right, do you remember the show iCarly? Yes, it was on Nickelodeon, mid-2000s. I watched it personally all the time. I was really excited when they recently just put it on Netflix and I went back to watch it and it wasn't as good as I once thought it was. It was a little bit disappointing. But one character that I was not disappointed with and that I still stand to this day is Spencer. The Spencer-centric episodes were always my favorite. I always connected on a spiritual level to Spencer. Just this weird guy making weird art. And one of my very favorite episodes of iCarly was the one where they loved the coconut cream pie from this one restaurant, but then the owner, the chef guy of the restaurant died and they couldn't get the coconut cream pie anymore because the guy was the only one that knew the recipe. So the gang, like they make all these different coconut cream pies, just trying to get it exactly right like the pie the pie and they just they just couldn't get it right so they planned this whole heist and they found the recipe to the coconut cream pie inside the owner guy's computer it was like physically inside the monitor it was like one of those big box monitors then they found the recipe and they were like wow we can make this pie anytime we want now I love this episode so much in part because it was it was a pretty Spencer centric episode. Hey, you guys want to go grab some breakfast? Oh, yeah. Yes. Where are we going? Galini's pie shop. Pie for breakfast? No, no, don't say pie for breakfast. Say pie for breakfast? Wait, you're wearing pajamas. It's a pie shop, not church. Come on. Also, I love coconut cream pie so much. I always have. And as a kid, watching them make all those pies and just imagining this perfect coconut cream pie that they just they just have to have i always wanted to try the pie and this want of mine just laid unsatisfied for many many years until a couple weeks ago i watched this four hour video of this guy analyzing the entire series of iCarly don't judge it was a, actually a really good video and he got to the coconut cream pie episode and he revealed some information to me that I I was not privy to. Okay, so iCarly, they had this website run by Nickelodeon acting like that was the titular blog that the people in the TV show were running and it was like a, the real life thing. I don't know if it was for like every episode, but they'd have these characters post blogs to give their thoughts about the events of a specific episode. And it was revealed to me that the secret coconut cream pie recipe was on Spencer's blog post on the website in real life. And I saw an opportunity. I was gonna make this anyway. This has been something that I've wanted for at least 10 years of my life, but I thought, hey, I can make a video out of it too. So that's what we're doing today. We're making the secret coconut cream pie recipe from iCarly. So I don't know if the iCarly website is running anymore, but I found the recipe on the iCarly wiki page. It's like the whole blog post archived onto the wiki page. And I got, it, I have it brought up. I'm gonna read it to you real fast. Galini's secret recipe. Hey, it's me, Spahancer. Okay, so quick recap. There's this pie shop called Galini's, and they have the most awesomest cr coconut cream pie you've ever tasted. Anyway, last week, sadly, Mr. Galini went to the big pie shop in the sky. In other words, he died. But that's okay, because he was like a hundred or something. His granddaughter, Trudy, check out her sweaty pig below. I mean, Spencer, I, I stand, but... You can't come for people's appearance like that. Was the only person who had the secret family recipe, so I had to date her to get it. Um, can you say gurus? Um, Spencer, please don't ruin this for me. Spencer. Yeah, so I thought I'd share the recipe with all of you since I had to work so hard to get it. 
Yeah, they literally like interrupted this guy's funeral. They had to stall while Spencer went in the back to look in the computer or whatever, and they found the recipe, and it completely derailed the funeral. Doesn't it make us kind of skeevy to go to a man's memorial service just so we can steal his pie recipe? No! Are you sure about that? He says to me, Mario, he says, before you get married, there's something I gotta say to you. Where's the computer? In the back. What does it mean to lose someone you're close to? It means you've lost someone that you're close to. So, I mean, it was like Seinfeld for children. These, these are terrible, terrible people. <laughs> Mr. Galini's coconut cream pie ingredients. Hi, so I'm editing this right now and I decided I'm actually not going to make you sit there and listen to me list off all of the ingredients and directions. If you want to read that, you can pause the video now. Here it is. There it goes. Okay, that's all, goodbye. <laughs> so you know the deal. Don't try to make this recipe without an adult. I totally consider myself an adult so I can stay this kind of stuff. Gotta go give Carly my dirty clothes. Last time I did the laundry, I shrunk all my socks and had to give them to the Doll of America garage sale. Later, same Spencer. Lucky for us, I am an adult. So I am more than qualified to make this coconut cream pie. So you notice it doesn't give the pie crust recipe. So I'm using a, a pre-made Marie Callender's pie shell. You can see it sitting over there. I was waiting for the oven to preheat so I could pop that in the oven. I think it's done now, so I'm gonna do that really quick. All right, so pie shell in the oven. Um, I know it won't be as good as if I made the crust, but the crust is the hardest part of the pie. And I, you know, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> now this recipe calls for one cup frozen whip topping for the top of the pie. Cool whip on the top, cool whip. And I just don't think that's what Golini would have wanted. So I looked up another coconut cream pie recipe and it tells you how to make your own whipped cream. I think I'm gonna do that just to make it, just to elevate it that little bit more. Also in this other coconut cream pie recipe, I also saw that they added coconut extract to the pie and I, I think that's a great idea. So yeah, I'm gonna add one fourth teaspoon of coconut extract as well to the pie. Listen, man, you can't tell me what to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it my own. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna wait for the crust to get done baking and I will see you to start making the pie. So five. Hey, you come around here often? <laughs> All right, welcome to the baking zone, everyone. As you can tell, I do not have a Rosanna Pancino kind of a professional baking video setup, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to deal with this. I did lay out my ingredients all nice. Appreciate that. So I've baked the crust and it's chilling in the fridge. So we're gonna make the coconut filling while we're waiting. Now set a medium saucepan because we're gonna boil the mixture. I think this will be big enough. I'm not really sure though. So we're going to combine half and half egg, sugar, flour, and salt in the saucepan. Three cups is a lot, isn't it? <laughs> so half and half in a pot. Whoa. Don't get the shells in there, don't get the shells in there. Okay. You gotta rinse those hands after you handle eggs. All right, salmonella is bad. <laughs> okay. Gotta level the flour. Crisp. Okay, now it says combine. Ah, oh, I forgot to do my transition over to this zone. I did the self five for nothing. What does combine mean? Did it just mean to put it in the pot? Did it, did it mean to mix it like I'm doing now? Surely you mix it. It's pretty chunktastic. Maybe we should whisk it. Whisk? Is this better? I think it's getting better. I don't see any of the egg bits floating around anymore, so I think we're ready to boil. To the boil zone. <laughs> All right, welcome to the boil zone. We're gonna boil this over low heat. Stirring continuously, stirring continuously, they said? Stirring continuously. This is probably gonna take a while, but you gotta do it over low, I think, so the eggs won't scramble. This is starting to boil, bubble, bubble, toil, trouble, however that goes. I think I'm imagining things. 
When I was a kid, I wanted to be a baker. My favorite shows were cooking shows like Iron Chef, Elton John. Elton John? No. <laughs> no. Alton Brown. <laughs> Loved Alton Brown show. Good Eats! That's what it was called. I was trying to think of it. We're getting there. Slowly. Arduously. But we're getting there. Again, I'm just gonna turn up the heat. Just a little bit. Watch it ruin the whole thing. Seeing a little steam. I think that's a good sign. Is this called tempering eggs? When you do it low and slow like this. I think that's what that's called. I'm getting a nice, uh, nice steam facial. Probably not good with all the sugar and stuff in there. <laughs> It'll just clog your pores right up. <laughs> it's getting quite thick all of a sudden. Um, I was afraid I did it uh oh, oopsie with turning up the heat a little bit. So I turned it down again. The flour chunks have returned. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. Are you close to boiling? Please say yes. I will not accept no for an answer at this time. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm going insane. We're gonna try clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. Uh, or anti-clockwise, depending on where you are in the world. This has been Sydney's World Citizen Corner of the Day. Next week, we'll be covering pavement versus sidewalk. This is like making pudding. Did you trick me into making pudding recipe? Aw, oh, you silly recipe. You've done it again. You tricked me into making pudding again. <laughs> Classic recipe. She is Thicker than a snicker. Wow. Pop it. Yeah. I don't know if this ever is if this is ever gonna boil. Yeah. Yeah. I said to do it over low so the eggs don't scramble. Yeah. Uh, to begin with. To begin with. To begin with. Oh my God. Yeah. Once they reach a certain temperature, you can turn it up just a little bit to kind of medium. But it's going to boil here and stop stirring for a second. It's going to boil in about 30 seconds. Oh, look at that. See? Yeah. Okay. As long as it reaches that thickness. Yeah, it's thick. At long last. <laughs> one and one fourth cup flake coconut. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Three fourths teaspoon. Banana! We're gonna call that two. And then I was gonna do a fourth of coconut extract. Why didn't I take it out of the box before now? Oh, it smells so good. Okay. That's good, good. <laughs> now we mix it in. Oh yeah, buddies. This is looking like coconut cream pie. All right. And now we fill the pie. All right, here's the pie shell. Thoroughly chilled, I think. Um. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. I think we have too much mixture for the size of pie shell. Quite a bit left over. And the pie is full. Well, let's put a little bit more, huh? Voila! Now we chill this for two to four hours. And in the meantime, we're gonna make our whipped cream. All right, welcome to the whipped cream zone. I found this recipe on the other coconut cream pie recipe, which is a lot more in depth than the iCarly one. One and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. Okay, this is, a, this is the third cup. I don't wanna, I'm too lazy to wash the measuring cups, so I'm just gonna do this. This has just got a little coconut on it, and I figure it's fine if a little coconut gets in there. It's going on a coconut cream pie, after all. So we're gonna add two of these, because it's a fourth. Three tablespoons of sugar. Three fourths teaspoon pure vanilla extract. And I figured I'd add just a couple drops of the coconut extract too. I mean, just add a little flavor. Give us some Sydney zest, you know? Five drops, a couple more drops, okay. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't utterly mess it up, but I don't see how it could. <laughs> and now it says to mix it with a hand mixer or a stand mixer until I reach medium peaks. Okay. <laughs> That's whipped cream. <laughs> We're gonna chill this and wait for the pie to set. What is up my baking crew? We are back. The pie 
has set. Oh my god. <laughs> it's been a couple hours. The pie has set, I think. I don't know, it's cold. It's not jiggly. Looks set to me. So the, uh, the fancy coconut cream pie recipe that I was looking at, it said that about half the pie should be filled with the coconut filling and then the other half should be filled with the whipped cream. But I had a lot of coconut filling and I felt bad tossing it. So I, I might have filled the pie too much, but I think the whipped cream can just sit on top. I think that'll be okay. I think that'll be great. But I don't think I want to just like slather this on top of that. It might just like slide off. So my thought process is to kind of pipe it on there because the fancy coconut cream recipe did say that you can pipe it on there to make it look fancy. But I'm just gonna pipe it on there for like stability's sake. Um, so I'm gonna put it in this and then I'm gonna cut the tip and then Pipe it onto the pie. What do you think? Good? Good. <laughs> this looks like a crime scene. Does it zip it? I guess we didn't have to zip it. Why did I zip it? <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I think I'm just, I'm gonna go in a spiral. Spiral it up, do it like a pyramid. Really, um, a cone, a cone. Get some of that geometric stability in there right right there we go oh it's coming out the side why do i have two holes <laughs> now we're piping it's called me the pied piper <laughs> this might not be the prettiest job in the world <laughs> this was a bad idea <laughs> this is hilariously bad you know what, I'm just gonna spread it. Well, that did not go as expected or planned. <laughs> Nevertheless, the whipped cream is on the pie. <laughs> That's all that matters. And it did, it's not sliding off like I feared that it would. It looks good, doesn't it? it looks professional. Am I a professional baker? So now it says to let this chill for a couple hours, uncovered now with the whipped cream on it. So I'll see you in a couple hours for a little taste test. Yeah. Well, this is it, fellas. The moment of truth. I have had a question in my brain for, I don't know, 10 years? And that question was this. How does Galini's secret recipe coconut cream pie taste like? Well, today we get the answer. Today, I realize a childhood dream of mine. And that's not something that you get to say every day. Let's cut into this bad boy, huh? It's cutting nice. I was afraid it was all gonna just fall apart. You don't often get like a resolution like this in life, you know? And I know that Nickelodeon just put a random coconut cream pie recipe on their website. Galini wasn't a real guy, but like, it just feels good to get an answer of some sort. You got a fancy pie getter. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I made this. That's a, that's a, that, that's, gotta be honest guys, that is a piece of coconut cream pie. You look at that and you go, wow, that is a piece of coconut cream pie. I'm shocked. Nothing I do ever comes out this good. Um, <laughs> this, this is the real moment of truth. I would like to thank the creators of iCarly for seeding this mystery in my brain in the first place. I'd like to thank that guy who made that four hour video about iCarly to reignite my interest in the coconut cream pie. And lastly, I'd like to thank you for enabling me to just take a Monday and make a coconut cream pie in order to realize a very specific childhood dream of mine. All right. Dang, that sure is a piece of coconut cream pie. <laughs> it's really good. I mean, I don't know what else I can say about it. It's coconutty. It's creamy. Um, I gotta be honest with you guys, I was really dubious about a recipe off of um, a Nickelodeon run web website, especially because this recipe was a lot less complicated than that other coconut cream recipe that I was looking at. But dang, that, that, that's really good. <laughs> But I think we need some more opinions on this matter. All right, we've got some pie tasters here. 
um, to get a second uh, opinion on this pie. There you go. Hello. <laughs> Featuring my mother. It looks great. Yeah. You gonna get in here and get some? Mmm. Creamy. Coconutty. <laughs> Delicious. That's the same joke I made. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> you Are you gonna make the same joke? <laughs> oh, that's super good. I declare this pie <laughs> to be a success. Oh, yes. It was delicious. I know, right? Man. I think it'd be even better if I made my own crust, but I think it's really good. <laughs> I'm going to eat this whole pie. <laughs> Galini. He right. knew what he was doing. I can't believe I made that. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Chappy? Chapworth, no. Don't give me a Chapworth. yes. I must oh try gosh. it. I must try some pie too. <laughs> he does not like eating up this a fork. This is not natural, people. This is not natural for me. <laughs> Your opinion on the pie, sir? <laughs> I think he likes it. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna, how do you make it? Well, you gotta watch the video, <laughs> am I right? No. They, they weren't lying in that car, Leo. This is truly a great pie. We ate, we ate this pie. we ate this whole slice just like they did in the show. <laughs> it's so good. We got to eat it with our hands. <laughs> well, there you have it. Galini's secret recipe might have been completely justified in crashing a funeral for. Three out of three ball yards agree. Galini's secret recipe. It's a great pie. It's a great pie. Four out of four ball yards if you count Chapworth. Everyone loves it. <laughs> I'll link the recipe down below. It takes a lot of stirring, but I think it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Um, and it was absolutely worth it in order to solve this mystery that has been in my head since my peak iCarly fandom days. It's truly a beautiful, beautiful day. And I will be making that pie for every potluck from here on out. <laughs> Invite me to a potluck so you can have some of the pie. I would recommend putting the coconut extract in the pie and definitely make your own uh, whipped cream for it like I did. You're welcome, Galini. This made your pie recipe even better. So yeah, if you liked that video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.